there a problem, Blockhead? I don't know. You could try asking nicely. Hey, numbskull, what's your problem? <sighs> Spit it out or I'll wring it out of you. There's a war on and you're just looking for ways to line your pockets. Are you trying to guilt trip me, deserter? You really are a hypocrite. I deserted to find a cure for the corrosion. And what am I here for? Aren't I helping you guys? You're only doing it for the money. Wow. When you buy turnips from a farmer, do you give him the same spiel? Not the same thing. But it is. Oh, I swear I'm gonna punch you in the face. Wait. There's someone there. Damn it. We walked right into a trap. What? No time for questions. Run! So what's the plan, Chief? That was my next question. Ah, huh. was it now? Yeah, I haven't been with you too long, but it's long enough to understand who really calls the shots here. Oh, so that's how you think we work? What would you do in my place then? Go and see Tyrannus. She's the city's first counselor. Then off we go to see Tyrannus. Back again, Nisaurus? I thought we'd never see each other again. Hmm, you could say I'm here to repay my debt to our beloved city. And here I was thinking that keeping your sarcasm to yourself was the best way to show your gratitude. All right, if you have something to say, let's skip straight to the point. Someone's planning to attack Tyr Caleb. Who? The Consort? They had their hands full right now. Between the war, the corrosion, and the refugees, they have more to worry about than a bunch of techno-dabbling heretics. There's a third party involved. A new player on the chessboard. We still know very little about it, but this entity, or whatever it is, seems to command several companies of automatons. Automatons, you say? Not golems, right? Archolites? Too archaic to be Archolite. It's too early to say, but they could be of Vanati origin. Vanatis. Hey, wait. What's Vanatis? An ancient caste of prehistoric Astrians. They learned how to shape crystals with magic, make them grow according to their will. They could shape large buildings and machinery out of them. But when the gods and their magic went dormant a millennium and a half ago, most of their knowledge was lost. It's a period of Astrian history that the Sanctorium prefers not to discuss. And you say these automatons are of Venati origin? We can show them to you if you want. It seems that you two were right. I'll convoke the council and order a lockdown. So fast. I'm the city's first counselor. Do you really think I'm blind to what's happening here? Until now, I suspected that someone was planning an assault on Tyr Calum. There have been many unidentified signals detected by our sonars. Scout reports. These automatons you've dismantled. Not to mention what happened in Jagholm means we've reached the tipping point. This is the proof I need to justify a lockdown. So, you got this, right? Then I wish you all the best. Now, if you please, I'm going to kick back and enjoy the fireworks. Um, I have a suggestion. Our friend Asaurus here could be an invaluable asset. He knows both sides of the equation. Tyr Kalem's defense capabilities and the threat we're facing. I think it would be wise to make him our special advisor to help us organize our defenses. Hmm. <laughs> no, you can't just take a barely sober bum and put him in a position of responsibility like that. Watch me. Although I agree with your assessment, Priestess, I would feel more reassured if someone I trust was supporting our friend in his endeavors. 
<laughs> what? Can I trust Alpharius's most trusted pupil to do it? Of course. Then I will notify the militia. Yasaurus, you will provide support wherever it's needed and help the soldiers prepare for the attack. What the hell just happened? I thought about what you said earlier and thought it was only fair to don you with the leader's mantle for a change. You're in charge now. Yeah, I don't know what you expect me to do, but I'm simply not up to the task. To any task, for that matter. Again, you're the most knowledgeable person around on both of these matters. The city would do just fine without my tampering. Then it wouldn't hurt to just check around, would it? Ah, wouldn't hurt. Then let's go, fearless leader. Eh, I'd say don't fall behind, but you can walk faster than me. Ugh. Hey, Source. So, you sobered up and came to see how it's done? Sure is different from tinkering with some junkyard trash, huh? Yeah, I guess. What's this? I'm not here to give you a tour, Sector Lady. Ask your babysitter. I bet he has nothing better to do. So... It's a reactor generally used to propel Archelite airships. These mechanics are rigging it up to use it like a giant flamethrower to repel the invaders. So, as you can see, we'll be getting this thing up and running in no time. Uh, have you considered... No, Isaurus. You shut up. I don't know what got into Terranus when she appointed you as our special advisor, but I won't listen to any of your crap, so just let us do our job and everything will be fine. Right. Yeah, yeah forget it. Mm. Mm. I think you're doing it wrong. Excuse me? Celine? Can, can I talk to you for just five seconds? You need to tell them what's wrong. They're professional mechanics. They know better than I do. We've been on the road. I've seen you tinkering around with your own limbs and body. What did you... In case you didn't know, the maintenance of my body parts is private. And I've seen how complex they are too. Listen, I don't know much about machinery, but I'm sure you can come up with something. Yeah, they won't listen to me anyway. I don't have any credibility in Tier Caleb. Do you remember how I was when we first met? I've been like that with these folks for months before you came along. It's a miracle if I didn't break out when we arrived. At least tell me what's wrong with the reactor. Nah, that cooling system is crap. Your cooling system is crap. Sleep! Miss, are you looking to start something? Tell them what's wrong, Isaurus. <sighs> this kind of reactor is designed for cruising speed with high altitude in a cool atmosphere. I don't understand what. This kind of reactor is designed for cruising speed at high altitude in a cold atmosphere. If you don't amp up the cooling system, the energy storage will melt in a few seconds. How would you know that? Kids in the junkyard. They had a fad playing with reactors for a time. I picked up a few things watching them. Damn it! He's right! What are we gonna do? Uh, special coolant. It won't solve the problem, but the reactor will last a bit longer. Long enough to do its job without blowing up, at least. What special coolant is, Zorus? The robots in the junkyard use a different kind of coolant than the ones you're using on machines. Okay, nice solution. But we gotta start over and fetch enough coolant. We won't have time to finish the job. We'll do it. Yes, we can do it. Then we're counting on you, guy. Uh, I know where we can find some. My old house in the junkyard. Let's go. Tyrannus sure wasn't kidding when she said she would order a lockdown. She's not the kind to leave anything to chance. So it seems. Come on, let us ask around if people need our help.
We have no quarrel with you. Please go. Or dawn. Whish. Here are the barrels. I knew these would come in handy someday. Isaurus, what's wrong? Don't you want to help the people of Tyrkalem? Before you guys came along, I was pretty horrible to these people. Granted, they were horrible to me too. For a good while, I wasn't Isaurus to them. I was the corrosion survivor, and that apparently entitled them to do a lot of things to me for their research. What kind of things? Experiments. Needles, scanners, electrodes. Painful stuff. Couldn't you say no? Would they have stopped if I did? With the promise of a cure to the corrosion at the tips of their fingers? They didn't even bother to ask if I was okay with it. And in truth, I didn't bother to tell them that I wasn't. Besides, the lives of thousands of people depended on those experiments. I was in no position to say no. Mm. But I was in a position to resent them. To resent the world itself. When their research proved fruitless, they tossed me aside. Just like... Just like my family when they learned I had the corrosion. So, I became horrible to these people, to everyone in Tyrkalem. It was... justified. But you still want to help them now, don't you? Somehow, yes. I've been living here. Learned to walk on these two cold, hard protuberances I loathe to call legs. Played a few stupid games with those impossibly noisy kids. As much as I want to hate this city, it's still the place where I came back to life. And it's a pile of junk, all right. But I won't let this doppelganger or whatever mess with it. Mm. And how does your red pendant fit into all this? It's still a part of me. Stirring inside, telling me I have every right to make the world suffer just as much as I did. It's destructive. It's ugly. But it's there. But this pendant somehow helps me to quiet that voice down. What is it? A reminder of something I aspired to be a long time ago. I'm still fond of that memory. Hmm. Okay, we got what we came for. Let's go back to the reactor.
gotta admit, you got us out of a pinch here. Hmm. What comes as a surprise is that you're unquestionably accepting these barrels without even checking if I'm pulling some cranks or not. No need. There's a good look on your face. Look at someone who finally decided to pull his head out of his butt. Oh, shove it. You can tell Terranus we're okay over here. Or, if you want to be a trooper, go help the other guys around the city. They're busy with their stuff, too. No, yeah, no, thank you. There's still one yeah in that answer. Oh, please.
sit this one out just this once. soul to the gods. sit this one out just this once.
And a round of applause to me for not messing up everything I touched today. You should give yourself a break, you know. Since you've joined our group, Darian and I have done nothing but rely on you. Oh, but I still have time to sink out a little enterprise. I'm pretty sure I'll slip up at some point. Just give it time. Enough self-loathing and self-pity, Isaurus. We've had enough of that. You've had enough of that. <sighs> I know what you've been trying to do. And it won't work. You simply have no idea how low I've stooped over the place. My past is not the kind of slate you can just wipe clean. You won't make me feel better by slapping me on the shoulder and telling me I've been a good boy. I've and that horrible man has been fittingly punished for the matching body. So, save your fancy words. I'm way past any kind of self-respect. I'm sorry you've become so afraid of being cast away. That you feel the need to denigrate yourself at every occasion. And I'm sorry that I'm not kind enough to hide the painful truth from you. But I trust you. So deal with it. Ah. Hmm. Anyway, is my battery acting up? Oh, it's not a power surge. It's... Any reason why you're staying behind? Sorry, I was... Daydream. We should report to Tyrannus. The, they're coming! I guess that's our cue. Human terrorists were right. They really are coming for us. There's too many of them to count! Chin up, Chief. It's your Kalem's a tough nut to crack. We're entrusting you with the reactor. Don't forget, 
You can only use it once. Make it count. Yeah. Alright, you're ready? I'm always ready. A prayer for your wayward soul. Ready! Fire! Let's give him hell! Got your back! So far, so good. Don't get cocky. Yes, my gen-
Out of the way. A prayer for your wayward soul. Before dawn. We need to hold out just a little. Is the ground shaking? <laughs> I just knew something like that. They just love to pull those cu- By the will of the gods.
Tyrannosaurus! The reactor's ready! Seems like it. No, it's not over. The junkyard, damn it! Why didn't I think about it earlier? There's a breach in the hole there. We have to hurry! Thank you. 